to do is we're going to solve a problem using area of rectangles and area of squares. Okay, so what I want you to look at now is let's imagine we were at a baseball game, okay? So let's say it started to rain out and the players needed to cover the field because they don't want their infield to get wet. That would ruin the dirt and ruin the grass for the infield. We're not worried about the outfield, but we just want to know for the infield what the area would be. And as we said, area is the surface inside of something. So looking here, we have a picture of a baseball field. Can you see that okay? Yes. Okay. So it tells us that the side of a baseball field is 90 feet. So from home to first base, it's 90 feet. From first to second, it's 90 feet. From second to third, it's 90 feet. And from third to home, it's 90 feet. So is this a square or is this a rectangle? Square. square. A square. So if we were to try and solve the area of this baseball field, the infield, how could we do it? What formula could we use, Maya? We could use side times side. Side times side. And what is the length of one of the sides, Caleb? 90. 90 what? 90 feet. We want to make sure we use our units, right? So on your graphic organizer, let's go to the square side. And when you open it, you know that flap that we didn't use? We're going to write this problem right here. So we know that area <coughs> equals side times side, you said, right? So in this case, what was the side? 90 feet. 90 feet. So we'll write 90 feet times 90 feet. And if you were to solve for that, what would you get? So it's 90 times 90. You can work it out on your in your book if you need to. James, do you have the answer for that one? 8,100 what? Feet. 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 Square feet, right? We won't, don't want to just say feet because feet would be when we're measuring like the perimeter, we would just say feet. But because this is area, we're going to use square feet. So the area is equal to 8,100. You can say square feet or we can write it like this. You can say feet squared. That means the same thing. If you were to say 8,100 square, I'm going to abbreviate it to SQ. or 8,100 feet squared. Okay, so that would be our baseball field. Now, let's say we were at a tennis court instead. Okay, what shape does a tennis court have? Rectangle. Rectangle, right. So down here you can see our tennis court. And what does it say for the length of the tennis court? Naya. 78 feet is the length of our tennis court. What would be the width of our tennis court? Tristan. 36 feet. Now, do we have a formula to do rectangles? What would that be? Fatima. Diego? Length times width. So let's open our flip book again, but are we going to do it on the square side this time? No. no. We'll use the rectangle side. Let's open that flap and we know that the area is equal to, we said length times width, and in this case, what was our length again? 78, and our width was 36. 78 feet times 36 feet. Okay, so I would like you guys to figure out the answer to that and raise your hand when you are finished. You can use your whiteboard, you can use your book as well to compute.
Alright, who has the answer to this? Joseph. 2,808. 2,808. See? Who agrees with Joseph? Thumbs up. Thumbs down if you don't agree. Carson, why don't you agree? 16 feet, not square feet. Right. So, you want to fix your answer? Okay, what is your answer now? 2,808 square feet. Okay, so looking at, we knew our area of our tennis court was 2,808 feet square, and our baseball field was 8,100 feet square. Now, which one's bigger, the baseball field or the tennis court? Baseball field. Baseball, baseball field. Could you look at this picture and know that right away without doing yeah. any calculations? How could you know that? Paris. Right, 90 is greater than full 78 and 36. So we know 90 times 90 is for sure going to be bigger than 36 times 78. Good. Okay, on your whiteboards really quick, I want you to get out your whiteboards. And if you were measuring area of something that is in inches, I want you to write down what the final answer would be in. What would be the units if you were measuring something in inches? Write that on your whiteboards. You don't need a number, I just want to know what the units would be. What was the what? Okay, if you were to measure area of something that was in inches, what would your total answer be? In? Hold up your whiteboards and you're done, sign up. Good. Wait, wait, wait. a lot of square inches. Maddie, I'm going to borrow your board for a second. She did it both ways, so we could have inches squared or square inches. Perfect. If we had meters, show me what your answer would be in. Okay, so it says 
square foot. Oh, 75 cents. 75 cents. 75 cents. You can see that right up there. It says 75 cents per square foot. Okay, but first of all, what do we need to figure out if we're going to recarpet our classroom? How wide our classroom Okay, here, how wide our classroom is. Maddie. The perimeter of my classroom. The perimeter? So we're just going to measure the outside? And then we can figure out the area. So, what should we find out? If it's square or The area, right? So, is this... Yeah, so how can we do that? We could measure our classroom. So I brought in a tape measure. We're going to measure the length and the width of our classroom. So are we get a volunteer. Oh, please, 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 please. So I'll take people who are patiently. Watch this. Can you come up here? So, okay, this is a 100 foot meter measuring tape. Okay, so what you're going to do is that you're going to take the measuring tape all the way down to the door. Okay? Well, you can hold it up in there, it's fine. I'm going to pull it to this wall. Oh, I see my one. Okay. Can I get someone to come over here and look at what our classroom length is? Let's see. Uh, Myra, come on over. How many feet does it say this is? 32 feet. 32 feet. So we know that the length of our classroom is 32 feet. So let's go ahead and write that down on our whiteboards. 32 feet. Okay, so now I'm going to wind this up so that we can do the width. You can let it go. Thank you. So we know it's 32 feet. So I'm going to write that down. Okay, I'm going to write down our price too because we need to switch screens. So we know how much is it per square foot? 75 cents. 75 cents. Okay, and our classroom is 32 feet. So I'll put that right here. So that is our length. Now we need to figure out our width, right? Okay, so let's see who can help me with the width. Stephanie, can you help me? Now, we have a lot of cabinets in here, right? Do you think we would go to the cabinet or would we go to the wall? The wall. The wall. Okay, so I'm going to have you stand here holding this against the wall. And we're going to see what this is at. So let's make sure it's nice and tight. James, watch your head. <laughs> okay, let's see who can help me read this. Hunter, come on over. Twenty nine feet. Okay, the width of our classroom is twenty nine feet. So let's write that up there. You guys can let this go. Okay, so let's figure out 32 times 29 for our area. 